So now we are in the VS Code and I have already created a folder called Web Story Maker App. Now to begin with, let's lay out a workflow or plan, layout plan for how we are going to build this. I personally like this way before before coding anything because it will just give us a clear idea what needs to be done before coding. So now what we need is we are uh, we will be looking at our text file. We will be looking at our article text file, right? So to get the idea, um, we will have one uh, test dot text. Uh, let me just say article dot txt. So we will have we will be parsing article text where our articles will be present. So each article will be divided by a new line and well, they will be divided in your line. Yeah. So after that, I'm thinking what we need to do. So after we get, okay, we need to parse this text file. And then what we need is we need to come up with a category. And then we need to go category, categorize the, categorize each article. Categorize each article, uh, grab background image for that article for the article um, next step would be to get the background image okay. after getting image we will process the image add text on it so this will make our web story Perfect. Yep. Now what we want to do is now we want to create our virtual environment. I have emphasized so many times that we need virtual environment when we start a new project, a mini project, whatever. It makes our life so much easier. So to do that, we just need to pass in this into our terminal. So Python dash M it's module and ENV virtual ENV. Uh, now we are naming our virtual environment. So I'm going to just say web story virtual environment and that will create our virtual environment here. So once that is done, we need to import some things. But before that, we want to activate this web story virtual environment. So to do that, we just go into that folder we go into scripts we push activate and enter so now you can see the web story env so we are in a virtual environment mode now you can see it in front of it so now whatever our dependency are there for this project will stay in this folder you don't have to you won't have any dependency error because when i was starting developing or when i was a beginner coder or developer i had so many issues going into the project because there were so many dependencies that were not right because you know each each project requires a specific version of dependency i would put like that and that was creating so much of problems so this is the correct way of building any project and here's how you can activate your virtual environment now we want to import a few of the libraries one of the major library we are using is an ai a machine learning library which will categorize our text into a correct category. Uh, first of all, let's import Porsche. That will take a while. Let's import request as well. Let's import below as well, as that is something we're going to use when processing an image. Uh, correct. So let's get into it and install it. Okay. Uh, So yeah, we need to get rid of the commas because it will take it as a one single library. And that's not right. So it will install now. It will take a while because the, the Torch library is kind of 1.6 GB file that it needs to download. So yeah, that's a tough one. That's why we are not deploying it on cloud because it's taking so much of space. Okay, I want to clear that. Torch library isn't that bad. It is the library that we are going to use. It's so big because it has all this pre-trained data. And I will show you how and what library we are using here. Now let's create our main file. 
main file will have all the dependent library that we will create or dependent method that we will create so to do that let's do for this one we are just parsing our text file and uh, we don't want a method here we don't want to define a method here so what i will do here is just define a text and then there's this file name and we will import correct huh let's do this we will now create a file here we will have so it takes an argument here it's a file name and now we will define this method to do this we have this file name we'll open a file name as if uh, we are uh, reading a lines so now we have this line ready now we'll just do the you know, print line and this file name here we will define a file name here not right now we are just testing here so we can just do article.txt we are having this article.txt file here hi there uh, next hello every one so now this file should run and print each line so as you can see now it prints both of this line from the article.txt so this is how you parse text file in python so now that is done now this is done we need to categorize each article so let me just copy paste some just copy paste some let's go in google news so far so okay let's see we want to make a web story for this article so for instance this is a statement and we will print that in our article.txt so now we just want to categorize this you know let's run it again and see if the file has that correct so this is the output of that file so that's correct and now what we need is we want to determine the category of each line ai for categorizing this line so we need to import few things here because we are using this ai just this few lines so we want to import pipeline transformers import pipeline so transformers is something related to hugging face hugging face is my go-to ai machine learning platform that helps us use their open source models hugging face provides all sorts of ai library machine learning library i would say and you can use them for free but make just to keep you inform they are having this training data they are having this api request threshold you cannot go beyond that or you will need to have but you need to be purchasing their pro version so this is what they are offering for free right now and all the facebook and google libraries are there as you can see we can see here um facebook where was it yeah here it is the facebook ai we have a google ai as well we have open ai uh, so many big companies are using hugging face so what we need here is we are categorizing a text so is that this one or is it a summary i just want to make sure is it this one um i think it was i think it was zero shot but it was text okay zero shot classification okay uh zero shot star now we are going to use this facebook data set this is a model from facebook and they have already trained data and you can see 1 million downloads last month and this is how we are going to use this so for instance let's take this as an example and now we are passing our category there cryptocurrency that's the answer for us we are going for health we are going for fitness we are going for food now let's see what does this come up so as you can see we are getting category as cryptocurrency so this is we are going to use cryptocurrency as our category and we will use that data on our next step to get the image of a cryptocurrency so let's do that now you here you can see the use case of this 
library or module how you can use that so this is something that we need to pass in labels so for that we are just copy pasting we already have this line so we are just copy pasting this line here again now we need these lines so we don't want to re-import every time we loop so i'm just taking this out oh i i forgot to import this library so we can again do pip install uh transformers that's a hugging face library so it will download So now we have the transformers in uh, it will have a one big download as i mentioned the pipeline that library is pretty big you can find an information over here as well uh, well let's not go there but uh, it's pretty big file i think yeah you can see 1.63 gb so this is like a big file that we need to download to perform the task So this is a this is a line. So this is each line, and now I'll just copy paste this category that we already defined. This will have a result set, right? So as you can see here, we have this example of a response. It has these labels, and it will always have this one category up front run that matches for instance 99 it was cooking here but it doesn't take, take like that it's exploration and so on so we will just do i guess so so now we are just running this ai bot and we will see what is the category right now so it will take a while for the first run but it won't happen after our first run it will download that library i will fast forward our installation oops i think i'm just running from here now it will download our file whatever the pipeline is it will be a big file so now it should have a result it has a cryptocurrency as a result as i mentioned this thing is working fine so this is how you can categorize article into one word isn't that amazing so now for the next step what we need is we need to source our photos now we already have a result result here means a category we already have discovered that our text is a cryptocurrency text so whatever we want to pass in into our api would contain a query saying it's a cryptocurrency and we need pictures in that category so for that we are going to use pixel.com i know in my previous videos i've been using unsplash you can use that too but for this particular project i will be using pixel.com so let's get into pixel.com so as you can see it is the same ui as unsplash.com so i will also link that in in here you can see that we can find copyright free images and it's a high resolution photos in both of these websites so now we just want to go and create our api keys i'm not going to go further but you need to click here and then it will ask for what app you are going to build and all kind of information you need to put in and after that you will have your api key ready now i just pasted okay so i'm just pasting my cred uh that api key in my credits folder so this is how i'm how i'm going to paste i'm not going to show you my exact api key but this is how i'm going to store it and we are just going to grab that grab that api call uh, api key sorry uh now we are just passing this category remember the result here is a category so we are just requesting to pixel 
and we are passing in the result now i'm just creating this a different method so let's say this is a different category and now we need to look how the documentation of pixel look like so now uh let's see here here it is um how are we going to authorize ourselves so this is my api key but i'm not trying out everything and this is the base url now we get that and then we need to search for photos we are using query and we will be passing the value as the category in our case it's a uh, cryptocurrency of course it's a web story so i would suggest it we can ask for portrait or vertical orientation and i can see all the information here okay we get 15 photos by default it's in this array and this is the source where we can download our photos correct so now we just want to let me just copy this thing and let me just paste it here for our instance so now what we need so this is our url let me do this f string now we want to just pass here our category so we will get photos from our from a cryptocurrency uh, category and now we are orient passing orientation and we can do vertical and then headers are our api key so i'm just pasting what i have here so this is the grad folder and we have this api key in my case right now i'm not displaying the api key but i will surely edit later and now we are just requesting our okay okay we haven't imported our request so let's import it so now that error is gone now so when you're making this request you will get 15 photos but what i'm doing here is i will import random so whenever we get a photo it's always a random image we don't want the one image for all the web stories we create right so this is just a trick to get the random photos and then so here you can use red dint and then we already know there's default value is 15 so i will keep the value between 1 and 15 and then or zero or let let us keep it like that and then we know the photo is is in r uh, src and then again let me src and then portrait 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 or vertical is the same here so let me do that it's a portrait and now this is our url now at the end of this request i want the image path so i just need to create one more method but let me just do image path here get image path and let's do this and we also use a category to name our image and let's again define this method so this method will get the image it will just download it so we will again use request we use url and then it's not url it's a photo here because here we are receiving a url already so now let's do so this is how you extract images and now you get the byte data information for that image and then let's name this image whatever we get so i am keeping it like this you can even add index but i prefer this way for now now let's create our image so we are just writing this image down and we are returning our image so we are getting here an image file and here we go so in this video we just did a request to pixel and we got the image in our correct format that is a portrait or vertical mode and we are also downloaded it and we are having a path now in next video we are going to dig down more and see how we can come to the end so see you in the next video